Welcome back to Racer's Edge. On today's episode, we've been talking about maintenance and how important it is to change those nuts and bolts and maintain them like you should. We've talked about the brake system, how important the brakes are when we get to the end of that straightaway because going fast is great, stopping is even better. We've talked about the fluid systems, how often that fluid should be maintained and how dirty you can get by doing it. And now we're going to move on to a more critical part of the maintenance program. And Mike, that's the fuel cell. And it's got to be important to change that fuel. Very important, Troy. It's an it's a item that goes on your once a year list and really needs to be done on a regular basis. Right. The fuel in your race car is unlike the fuel that's in your lawnmower. You just can't add an additive to it because it'll cause a corrosive problem within the fuel cell. And if you'll look here, we've got a piece of fuel cell foam that shows that it's uh, deteriorating. Mike, am I correct? Yeah, that's quite dried up. Uh, looks to be uh, way past the manufacturer's spec for being left in a race car. Right, and that is also another thing that we need to point out because a lot of sanctioning bodies today require a fuel cell date upon the top of the fuel cell that can tell you when that fuel cell is in or out of date. And Mike, I'm telling you, I've lost races before because the fuel cell gets stopped up. Can you tell us how that happens? Sure, you get this, uh, this terrible breakup of the fuel cell foam getting dried out from all these uh, really wild race fuels we're using these days. And typically, uh, most people are using a, a very fine micron filter here to, to f filter out all these dirty particles that get in there. And it's real easy with the uh, breaking up of the fuel cell foam to get it wedged up in here and, and stop the fuel from going to the engine. You know, Mike, as a crew chief, why couldn't I just take this foam out of my fuel cell? Well, you've got two important reasons there, Troy. The first one, of course, is safety. And uh, you can't remove this without jeopardizing the, the quality that was built into this fuel cell to begin with to keep the driver from catching on fire. And also, you don't want to take that foam out of there so that you don't have that fuel slosh around inside the back of your car that's going to change the handling characteristic for you. Oh, you know, you bring up a great point there. Safety is a big issue in any type of auto racing that you do. And maintenance is, too. I hope you learned a lot on this show, and I hope you come back. So for Mike Seymour, I'm Troy Selberg. This is Racer's Edge. Keep it off the jack stands and keep it out of the wall.